Before each measurement, disinfect the standing aid and hand electrodes. as well as the weighing platform and foot electrodes to ensure a hygienic application for each individual. Make sure that your disinfectant is suitable for sensitive surfaces and acrylic glass. Only use chlorine and alcohol-free disinfectants that are explicitly suitable for acrylic glass and other sensitive surfaces. Do not use harsh or abrasive cleaning agents. Do not use organic solvents, e.g. spirit or petrol. In order to obtain valid and comparable bioimpedance measurements, please ensure the following. Weight and initial height measurement should always be recorded under the same conditions. For eight to 12 hours before a measurement, the test subject should not eat anything or do any sports. Intensive training with physical exertion the day before is also not recommended. No alcohol should be consumed for 12 hours before the measurement. Immediately before the measurement, no large quantities of liquid should be consumed. The bladder should be emptied before the measurement. The measurement should take place in a rested state. For the interpretation of the measurement results, please note, illnesses and medication influence fluid status and fluid balance, which in turn influence the measurement. This must be taken into account during the analysis. Water retention may occur during premenstrual and menstrual phases. Make sure that the person to be measured stands correctly on the device to ensure an error-free measurement. The test subject should select the same pair of hand electrodes on the left and right. To select the correct pair of hand electrodes, the arm should be extended and relaxed. The height of the person and length of the arms determine the grip position of the electrodes. They should be easy to reach. Usually, a short person tends to use the electrodes at the bottom. Tall test subjects use the top or middle electrode positions. In the correct hand position, the finger separator should be between the middle and ring finger. The individual should step on the device barefoot. The feet should be clean, the heels stand on the rear foot electrodes, and the ball of the foot on the front electrodes. The individual should assume an upright posture and not move during the measurement. The knees should be slightly bent. The choice of the hand electrodes influences the measuring result. Make note of the hand positioning that the patient chooses. This will ensure that the patient uses the same hand electrode pairs during subsequent follow-up measurements. Make sure that there is no load on the device. Switch on the device. Wait until the weight height tab is active. The LED on the on-off button lights up white. First, determine the height of the individual. With EMR validated height measuring systems from Sika, the height can be sent directly to the medical body composition analyzer. Ask the test subject to stand on the device. The weight display flashes until the device has automatically determined the hold value. Wait until the weight display and the hold value stop flashing. If a hold value cannot be determined automatically, a value can be saved using the hold key. Use the height sent by the measuring station or enter it manually. The BMI is automatically calculated and displayed. To perform the bioimpedance measurement, activate the tab BIA. Specify whether the individual belongs to a group of persons for whom bioimpedance measurement must not be performed. Only if the test subject does not have any of the listed contradictions may the measurement be continued. Before each measurement, the device checks the contact of the hands and feet to the electrodes in a short test. If the test subject has proper contact with an electrode, the corresponding electrode indicator on the display is shown in green. Otherwise, it is shown in red. Only when all electrode indicators on the touchscreen display are green does a countdown appear to indicate the time until the start of the measurement. The measurement then starts automatically. During the measurement, a small, imperceptible current passes through the body of the test subject. The resistances, which oppose the individual body components to the current, supply the data, with which the body composition can then be calculated. The remaining duration of the measurement is displayed. After the short measurement time of approximately 17 seconds, 
the Sika MBCA immediately calculates the measurement results of the selected parameters using validated formulas. You can immediately view the results in the software and use them to diagnose your patient. When the bioimpedance measurement is completed, the dialog box for the module-specific inputs appears. First, you will be asked to enter the PAL value. PAL stands for Physical Activity Level. If the energy module has not been selected for measurement, the input of the PAL value is not necessary and will be skipped. The PAL value, it is multiplied by the energy output at rest to determine the total energy expenditure of the test subject. This is generated in the evaluation module, Energy. The typical PAL values include 1.4 for an inactive person who, for example, performs almost exclusively sedentary activities, 1.6 for more activity, i.e. predominantly sedentary activities, or 2.0 for very active people who do hard physical work, for example. Normally, these values are calculated on the basis of an activity log, which is then used to determine an average PAL value. The values on the device serve only as a rough orientation. Enter the appropriate value for the patient. The waist circumference is required for the calculation of visceral fat in the evaluation module, Health Risk. The waist circumference is measured in the middle between the costal arch and the pelvis. If the module Health Risk has not been selected before, this entry is not necessary and is skipped. Enter the waist circumference using the number pad. Confirm the input of the PAL value and waist circumference with the corresponding key. In the next step, you can assign the measurement data to an existing patient file in the Patient tab, or create a new patient file. You can then view evaluation of the measurement results in the PC software. In the next step, you can assign the measurement data to an existing patient file in the Patient tab, or create a new patient file. You can then view evaluation of the measurement results in the PC software. A login window appears. Here, the user logs in with his or her user password. If a file for your subject already exists on the MBCA or in the Sika PC software, enter the date of birth, confirm that you wish to open this file, then the file opens. If you want to create a new record, make sure that the Patient tab is selected. The input form for the patient search appears. Tap the Create button. The first input form for mandatory data of the test subject appears. Enter the following data. Date of birth, gender, ethnicity. This information is relevant for an accurate formula calculation and output of the individual normal ranges, among other items. Tap Continue. The second input mask for optional entries appears. Enter the following patient data. Last name, first name, ID of the test subject. You only need to enter an ID if it must follow a certain format in your system. If you leave the ID input field empty, an ID is automatically assigned when the data is saved. Tap the Confirm button. A summary of the data is displayed. Tap the Confirm button again, the patient's data is stored. Alternatively, you can also provide a file from the PC software. Start the PC software, Sika 115. Perform the following steps in the main test subject list of the Sika 115 PC software. Select the desired file. Click Send to MBCA. If several Sika MBCA devices are connected to the Sika 115, Select the MBCA to which the subject's file should be sent, then click Send. The subject's file is transferred from the PC software to the Sika MBCA and appears on the Patient tab. Confirm the data that appears on the device display, otherwise it will be discarded after a short time. The measurement is now assigned to a record, but not yet saved. Save the measurement so that you can also access the measurement results in the future. If the device is connected to a PC printer via the PC software, you can initiate a printout of the result report directly on the device. Tap the Print button. The result report will then be created and printed.